When the hot topics hotline rings, it only means one thing. How you doing? How you doing? No, how you doing? No, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, people? Como se va? Bordan Gordet. Matcha from Japan. One oh, hand you underneath. It from this? Yes, one hand oh. underneath. And sit. How you do? <laughs> like, honestly, if, if you had a job where you come to work and people clap for you, it would change your entire mood. I mean, I love clapping. People on Facebook hate when you clap. <laughs> they're jealous because they're not here. You're not here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Let the church say. Amen. No, not amen. We say mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, everything that I do goes through Tristan and then maybe three other people. So I can't, you can't fire shots at me because I cannot fire back, nor do I want to. And it saved my life by having somebody not me directly doing this, because I could be fighting all day <laughs> ba based on what I read online. Many of you all read me for this on Facebook, which I, I don't get it. It's called side butt, okay? I think that roasting, now we all get roasted every day because of social media. Like I would never, my staff was like, well, would you like to have a roast? I said, no, I get roasted. Have you ever read my Facebook page? <laughs> I'm being roasted as I talk to you right now. <laughs> and I sit here with a short dress, with a high slit, and a big wig, and a big mouth. <laughs> and you know, these days, one wrong word, uh, you know, and everybody judges you. You can't, everything, it has got to be PC. It's PC. Sometimes you make it so difficult me, for, for me to tell a story and not seem, you know, mean or something that I, I suck in so much air, I feel dizzy now. <laughs> I mean, how many of you here today came because you enjoy the show, but you think I'm a stone cold nut? <laughs> right? And, and no, and that's, that's fine. I've been around proc uh, for approximately 30 years with a hot mic and an attentive audience, yeah. thank God. And because of the th things that I say and what I do, some of the greatest people in music have mentioned me in their music, which to me, in my sick way, I consider it an honor yeah. to be mentioned by Jay-Z, Mariah Carey, and Tupac, most recently Rick Ross. And so, you know, um, what I will say is I'm not changing. I'm here for my Wendy watchers, and if people want to come out of their skin and get all in their feelings, well, then I'm here to continue reporting. So it has come to my attention through various people in the staff here and various people telling me in the streets um, that you all are noticing that I sit a lot. I love to have several seats. I don't just sit here. I've been sitting in the audience. I sit to do uh, demo projects as well. You know why? Because I want to. Because this is my show and this is how I want to do it. I bust my ass on the show every single day. It's my party. Yeah. <laughs> like if I could do a cartwheel, I would. But remember, I can't cause. <laughs> um, you know, I got the vertigo. And so does my Suzanne. Oh, now at yep. least, you know, I apply for jobs where I can sit down. Mm -hmm. This is why I sit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <coughs> And I will cough, and I will burp, and I will fart, and I will cry, and I will sniff, and I will belch. I'll pick my teeth, I'll fluff my hair. It's all for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot in common with my father regarding pop culture. My dad, you met him before, his name is Tom, although my mother calls him Tom. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy. Good morning, Daddy. I know you and Mommy are now spying on me. Yeah, oh no, they, oh, they, believe me you, they spy. But my father and I both have always loved Melanie Griffith. And my dad always points out that, you know, she, 
<clears throat> she does that a lot. And so every time I do it, then he's like, you know, that's like Melanie Griffith. Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. Stop coughing. Why am I coughing? <coughs> Suzanne, I noticed you were coughing. Do you feel a tickle? No, there's a little bit of a tickle, but I think it's just because it's cold in here. Mm. Mm. Oh. What? I heard you coughing. Mm. If you'll notice, when you look at my co-host, I'm the only one with no sleeves. I am freezing, okay? <laughs> uh, like, the only thing keeping me warm right now is holding my warm cup of tea with my supplements. <laughs> I am so cold. Yes, cold, cold. And my, and my shoe snipped off at the bottom, so now I'm barefoot. I, I am cold, honey. Sorry, there are lumps of my potion in, and they're like lumps, you know, the, I told you I'd take a special supplement, <laughs> but there's lumps of it in here. Look, Rambo, look. <laughs> look, it's like, I'm <laughs> sorry, okay. Green tea, green tea, cring, cring, cring. <laughs> Healthy, cring, cring lifestyle. <laughs> yum, 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 David Foster, who's won 16 Grammys in his lifetime. Yep, yep. You're surprised my retention, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, when we do stuff in the morning meeting, let me tell you something. I am getting lashes put on. I'm screaming in the other room, wig, what wig am I wearing? I'm trying to, like, do stuff, and the producers are talking, and I know they think that I am not hearing anything. <laughs> and then I come out here and shock you with my retention, right? Yeah. And now, he's got two daughters from another relationship that are on some sort of reality show that I've never watched, but it's called Barely ba Famous. Barely Famous. Yeah. Well, apparently they are. <laughs> They've only been dating since the Golden Globes, which just happened January. in February. January. January? A month ago. A month ago. <laughs> now it's October and nothing has happened. Well, excuse me, November, 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 fourth, right? Third, yeah. third, yeah. third. Oh, gosh, we are writing down today's date. 11, 18, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. uh-huh. Write that down. <laughs> anyway, Eva now has a new show on telenovela. It premiered, uh, it premieres on Monday. It's called, no. It's on telenovela. No. It's, it's, it's on called NBC. telenovela? It's on NBC. It's called telenovela. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll start taking my, um, yeah, what do you call that that you take? Not chloroform. Oh. <laughs> what do you, <laughs> I, no, I, I, no, besides prenatal vitamins, no, there's something oh, else. Folic acid? Folic acid. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Hey, Kenny, that was a sloppy shot. <laughs> oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> it's my holiday mug. This makes a nice gift for the holidays for somebody, doesn't it? We can sip together and talk about people. Okay, well, look. The booty craze has officially gone too far. I can't sit or stand for too long. Let me stand up for a minute. Yeah. I just got sometimes it'll cause an indent if you want to feel it I'm sitting. It's just warm. I've never been more proud of my long back with a crack at the bottom. Honestly, because that's all I have. I I got a long back. But it's efficient and it's easy to keep clean. 
Listen, shout out to all the young girls watching the old Miss Wendy show. <laughs> girls, remember, there is no future in being a burnt out stunt. I would like Kim K's rubber pants and, oh yes. Oh, police. Nobody in the meeting liked it, except for me, Kim. They're like, why? Jealous much, because you can't tuck in your leggings? <laughs> Hips too big, big, big fat belly? Or not tuckable? Don't look at me when you say, <laughs> I can't, first of all, I can't, we'll never even try that. And don't look at me when you say tuck. <laughs> That's not your lane. Right, it's not my lane. Okay. <laughs> but here's Kylie Jenner, okay, uh, the 18-year-old that she is. She's attempting to trademark the name Kylie. Aww. In other words, if you want to name your kid Kylie, or if you want to do a Kylie anything, you have to go through this? Aww. That'd be like if Wendy with the red ponytails like, so all of a sudden, my parents have to change my name? <laughs> or do I just change the spelling? Because I'm ready for that. <laughs> On account of my black, and we are always trying to do something real different. <laughs> you know, like, Anthony Hardaway instead of Anthony Hardaway. Because I've got my second spelling already. I think I've shared this with you. J-U, as in Juanita, <laughs> Wendy. Wait, wait, hold on. J-U-E-N-D-I-E. -E. Oh. Wendy. <laughs> Taylor Swift and I used to have something in common. Oh. But apparently not anymore. Oh. So I'm in the lane all by myself. Oh. Flat booty. <laughs> that, yeah. That's me. But here she is the other night at the iHeart Radio um, con. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and then another person in our morning meeting said, Well, when standard white girls, like she's a standard white girl, you know what I mean? Don't be offended. Come on now, we talk race. <laughs> she's a standard white girl. They said, they said, Well, when a standard white girl jumps on the trend, that means it goes bigger than ever. And I said, No, no, no. When a standard white girl jumps on a trend, that means it's on its way down. Yeah. Right? So I think maybe the big booty is officially over! And I'm back in style. All right now. <laughs> Shout out to the beehive. <laughs> I get in the house two days ago, or last Thursday from work, and a bee came in the house. Oh. I dropped my bags, broke a glass fixture I had in one of the bags, and commenced to swinging. <laughs> there, were no, there were no newspapers around. I literally took my wig off. And... <laughs> like, I can deal with a fly, but I can't deal with a bee. Not on the swarm. Did you hear about Beyonce and her hair getting stuck in the diva fan? <laughs> She's singing that beautiful song, Halo. And that's her cute security guard trying to pull her hair out. And it was so funny, because a lot of the newscasters were like, oh, I wonder if she was mad about the hair, but you know, that's magic hair, so you can just cut it out. <laughs> and, then, and then other people, and then, and then other people were like, oh, it's so great, you know, because she kept singing, but if she stopped, the record was still gonna keep playing anyway. <laughs> I saw Timberland on the subway the other day. He was with Jay-Z. They're, they're actually over in, um, in London on the tube. It's Jay-Z, there's Timberland with the big belly and the gray t-shirt. Yeah, he, ga he gained some of his weight back. There's Chris Martin um, escaping from his wife, <laughs> the annoying Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, Gwyneth Paltrow, first of all, gets on my last nerve. She does. Now, musically, sometimes I am out of touch. I don't know a Coldplay song. I don't hear them on Elvis Duran. I have no idea. I, I just know Chris married to that woman, and now they're getting a divorce. Because you can imagine how sufferable it is to be married to Gwyneth Paltrow and gluten-free, you know? You know what I'm saying? What you say? Miss, come here. Come here. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> 
<laughs> Miss, I, you look nice. Can we talk? Miss, come here. This woman is a mentally ill woman who um, Nikki allegedly was making fun of. People are starving out here, and people are lost in their in their ways, especially holiday season. It's just, it doesn't look, it makes you look like an insensitive bitch. Oh, no. oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we talk? We talk every day. Can we talk? Yes. Sometimes you don't mind being called a B if it's in the right context. Like if your wrist are above your head. <laughs> Yes, bitch. <laughs> Suzanne, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, completely. Like sometimes you get called a B yeah. and you are ready to fight. Yes. And then other times you get called a B. And I love it. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Hi, Suzanne. Yep, I'm wearing another one of your outfits that you hand sewed. <laughs> I hand so okay. Wendy Williams for HSN. You really do look like Suzanne Higgins. Yes, I am Suzanne Higgins. Yeah. Yep, wearing this to the uh, soccer fields. Yes. Yes. Oh, and, uh, and another thing about you all. Oh, because they think that I hate you? What? Like, people are always <sighs> thinking do, something. Do we have to go through this with these people again? No, because you mentioned soccer. Yes. And, and, and you, don't call them these people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't call them these people. <laughs> Suzanne, you'd rather be a Bass than a Higgins. Well, I... I you didn't take Brendan's last no, name. No, I didn't. I did in my, pri my private life. Yeah, me too. But I'm not Irish. I mean, I'm not Suzanne Higgins. <laughs> no. Bass. I, mean, I love the Irish, but I'm just not. It's just not my name. But at school it is. Uh -huh. So she's Suzanne Bass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get... see my mother-in-law at Easter. Yeah, so this, this is not going to go... A heavy go dose of strict this nine. This is not going to go well. <laughs> Suzanne, how are the in-laws? Um, they're fine, pleasant. Yeah, I had Easter at my sister-in-law's, mm -hmm. and uh, my in my mother and father, my in-laws were there, and everyone was fine. I don't think I think they missed the episode that I said I wouldn't take Brendan's last name because I'm not Irish. So they missed that. They, so all was fine. I didn't ask you to repeat it, so now they might be seeing this episode. So. <laughs> In case they missed it. Now you're back in the doghouse. Oh my God, that's right. He was so mad at me. Like, Brendan? Truly, yeah, he yeah. was mad. But I saw it during commercial yeah. breaks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, during commercial breaks, mm -hmm. it's shady to you. Mm -hmm. Janet Jackson may be one of the biggest pop stars in the world, yeah. but there's one purse, one bitter Betty. Oh. Elton John. Oh, oh please. You know, Bleeping Music Magazines wrote a review of Janet's, Janet Jackson saying, this is the greatest show, four and a half stars. It's Bleeping Lip Sync. Hello? That's not a show. I'd rather go and see a drag queen. F off. <laughs> By the way, is there anybody Team Elton? Be honest. Clap. No, you, we clap here. We don't woo. We clap. Okay. All two of you. <laughs> We're going to jump you during commercial break. <laughs> Janet lip syncs because Janet really does not have vocal dexterity. She's not the best singer. Oh. <laughs> Janet Jackson, listen. You're, uh, people are furious because they bought the tickets for her tour, but now she's postponed the tour until 2017 to start a family. Norman bought his Janet passes back in July. Of July. Oh, look at him, who is that? <laughs> For Norman, who, by the way, is um, uh, um, part of your Navy. Yes, he's a super fan. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, I don't even know where I'm gonna be in 2017. And then, you know, they start talking in the meeting. They're like, the world's gonna be a different place. Heck, OJ will be on the loose in 2017. <laughs> okay. Would you be offended if I had him on the purple couch? Would you be offended no. if I had... All right, all right, clap if you'd be offended. Right. You're late to the party. <laughs> Sit down, okay? Bill Cosby, now here we go. 
Come on, come on now. Come on now. Bill Cosby is taking his act on tour. Clap if this is a tour you would like to participate in. Well, you didn't clap, so you're not participating. Sit down. You know what? Even better than the body is the way she looks at you. Like, don't try it. <laughs> she was at a charity event. Well, she had to go to the bathroom. So she had four security guards <laughs> cut through the line and shut the bathroom down so that she can have the bathroom to herself. I've been polling my audiences. It's a new day here at Wendy. I'll poll you too. <laughs> Clap if you would clear out the bathroom. That's why, that's why nobody likes you. <laughs> but wow, so you understand. No, you don't have a microphone. Nobody hears you, lady. <laughs> co-host, co-host, we answer by clap Asians, not talk Asians, okay? <laughs> thank you, though, but th thank you for participating. Wait, one more clap Asian. When you do the IVF, you have boy um, seeds and girl seeds, and you can choose which one you want. If you could choose, would you choose clap? So then the majority of you are my people because I just want it to be a surprise. Ta-da! Hello, wake up, it's Monday. Show me a pair of uh, shorts that she's wearing. Um, show me the denim shorts that she's wearing, because I can tell you this is exactly what the shorts look like. We, so, we had a second. No, the shorts. <laughs> What's the matter with you all? <laughs> Do we have the picture? Uh, I, I requested picture. the picture several days ago. Uh -huh. Well, where is it? <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> I just got in trouble on TV. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. <laughs> Chloe and French, they broke up. <gasps> yeah. You know what I picture him? I need you to come here because he knows he's gonna be going out into the public eye and he, he wants that Kardashian shine. I don't picture him falling in love and being needy with her, not like that. This is a clear, Stevie Wonder could see this was a you. <laughs> Has Stevie been to the competition yet? I don't think I've seen Stevie. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> and he hasn't seen me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> when you marry a wealthy man who happens to be blind and there are small children around the house, do you ever get tempted to put a squeaky toy at the top of the steps? <laughs> you know, after a real bad fight with him? <laughs> I mean, he can't see. I, no, I would not do that. I'm really excited to share with you guys um, that I have a new show. <laughs> and unfortunately, because of the new show, I have to leave this show. You know I love jokes. <laughs> You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> oh gosh, this show.